I'm going to start today's art activity by folding my black paper into eighths. I'm going to fold it so I have eight equal sections. I'm going to fold it horizontally and then I'm going to rotate it and fold it going vertically. Make sure those corners are touching when you crease the paper. Now I'm going to fold my paper at a diagonal from corner to corner so it makes the shape of a triangle. Make sure those corners are touching. Smooth out the paper to create a crease. One more to go. I'm going to fold corner to corner, making sure that they are lined up and then press smooth and crease your paper. We now have eight equal sections. I'm going to take the whole thing and flip it over and I'm going to get little tiny squares of origami paper. I'm going to fold in two different ways today. I'm going to do a hat fold and a kite fold. There are other ways you can fold the paper, but these are the two basic ways that we are going to be folding our paper today. Start to make the kite fold by taking the square and going corner to corner to make a triangle. Smooth and crease. That bottom edge is going to line up with the center fold. Move it over carefully with your fingers. Smooth and crease. Do the same on the other side. Take that bottom angle and move it so it matches the vertical line going through the center of the square. And that is the kite fold. The next fold we're going to see how to do is called the hat fold. You fold the paper into rectangles then, without opening it up, fold it again in half, making it a square. Open it back up just one time and take that top line and fold it into the vertical line in the middle. Do the same on the other side. Take that top line and fold it so it meets with the vertical line in the middle and press it, crease it, and now our hat fold is finished. Spend a few minutes practicing and creating several pieces that you'll be able to use in your finished work of art. I'm going to start with my kite folded pieces of paper that I have created and glue them into the sections around the center of my picture. In order for it to be a radial design, it needs to make a pattern that goes in a circle. I'm going to start by gluing each kite folded piece of pink paper into each individual section. The kite fold, because of the shape of it, will fill all eight sections one at a time. When you glue down the hat fold, it actually covers the space of two folded sections on the black paper. So you will only need to make four to go all the way around the circle. I'm taking my time and gluing each one carefully and neatly. Remember, craftsmanship counts. That looks good. Now I can take some more colors that I have already pre-made and glue them and stick them inside of each other. They can nest inside of each other, creating a very interesting optical illusion design. Continue this process, making sure you're thinking about a pattern. What kind of pattern can you create with your folded origami paper? I have now put some of my hat folded pieces of paper into the center. They are overlapping the tips of the kite fold. I am going to, once again, stick another color inside of a previous color in order to help give my design more visual interest. If some of the pieces are having trouble sticking, press and hold, maybe put something heavy on it like a glue bottle. 
Once you are all done designing your radial symmetry origami picture, make sure you clean everything up, put away all your extra materials, and your art project is finished for today.